Okay. All right, for the potty shoe, you're going to add your water, your butter, and a pinch of salt. And you're going to bring this to a rapid boil. Okay, so once the butter's melted and the water's at a rapid boil, as you can see, you're going to add your flour. Just throw it all in. And you're going to turn and mix it up. And you do want to shake it up a little. Shake it onto the top so it comes off to the side. Just like this. Shake it up. And then you have this one big lump of mass. Okay, the important step here also is you got to let this cool before you add your eggs. If you let this cool for a couple of minutes, again, stir it up. If you need to use a, uh, a towel or something to cool it off, you want to get it cooled off or you can put it onto another sheet pan and lay it out, put it in the refrigerator for like three to five minutes and then let it make sure it gets cooled off before you add your eggs because if you add your eggs then you're going to have it's going to taste basically like cooked eggs okay uh, with, it, with the stand-up mixer or if you want you can whisk it uh, you can do this while your pot of shoe is cooling off this won't take too long so you're going to add your one cup of uh, heavy cream and milk mixture along with your instant pudding, add that in. Start it out at low. And then if you like, put a towel over it and increase the speed and this towel will prevent any kind of spilling. Okay, and then after about a minute or so, two minutes, go ahead and turn it off. and you're going to refrigerate it. Okay, so it's gonna be somewhat like this consistency. It's gonna get thicker when it's in the fridge. Go ahead and place it in a container or a separate bowl. Okay, so I've got the, uh, <clears throat> the potty shoe out of the um, refrigerator. It's been in there for five minutes, so. Uh, you're going to get your eggs ready, so just crack four eggs into a separate container. You do not want to crack them into your mixer, just to make sure that you don't get shells in. Okay, then you're going to get your potty shoe. Place it into the bowl and then you're going to turn it on <clears throat> medium speed. Put it on like two. You're going to add the eggs one at a time. What's going to happen is it's actually going to separate and then once it comes together, once it begins to come together again, then you're going to add your next egg. So as you can see it's separated and then now it's coming together. At this point you're going to add your next egg. Okay, so it's separating and then it's going to come together. And 
then add the final egg. At this point, you could begin to scrape off the edges and give it one final mix. And this is just about ready. Okay, it's all ready to go, ready for piping. Okay, so you're gonna get a pastry bag. Uh, some people put a pastry tip in here, but it's not really necessary. Uh, you can just kind of cut a little hole off the edge, uh, roughly about an inch, an inch and a half. You're gonna get your pastry bag. And I'm gonna actually show you two piping techniques. Uh, one for a eclair and then one for a cream puff swan. So we'll do a couple of those. You'll be doing the eclairs. So you want to get your pot of shoe, place it into the bag. Just to make sure you get all of it. Sometimes you can just <clears throat> get a little <clears throat> another um, sheet pan and just kind of scrape it down just to make sure it gets all the way in there. It may be a little hard to pipe, you got to use a little muscle. <clears throat> Turn the pastry bag. Okay, okay the first one is the <clears throat> first one we're going to do is the eclair. So we're going to do some eclairs and then we're going to go and do kind of like what we call a teardrop for the cream puffs one. We'll do maybe three or four of those. Most of them are going to be eclairs. So you're going to go onto the uh, sheet pan and basically pipe it out and then move forward. If you want you can just flatten that out or sometimes a little water helps and you're just going to do this and then go back just like that. Okay, you can use parchment paper or a silicone pad. Your oven should be about 400 degrees, 450. Okay, I'm going to show you the <clears throat> the other one is the uh, like a teardrop. So what you'll do is you'll go like this, kind of keep it there, and then just pull it. Keep it there, pull. And pull. That's your cream puff. Another pipe, okay? I'm gonna show you that one on the next one. But again, this is going to be, this is the body of the cream puff. And then the other one that I'm going to do is actually the neck and the head. And you do want to get them about the same size, roughly. Okay, so we're all good here. Now we're going to go into a 425, 400 to 425 degree oven. And then what's going to happen, these are going to puff up and they should be hollow in the center and that should be for the uh, the pastry cream. This also is the same dough you would use to make churros. So basically if I have a star tip I would have, all I'd have to do is put those into the fryer and just basically pipe them into the fryer they puff up and then you roll them in cinnamon and sugar so this is the same recipe for churros. For the necks and head of the swan, you're going to get a little pastry tip. You can do this in a um, 
You can do these in uh, a Ziploc bag. You want to cut a little piece, just a small piece, a little small. And let's go ahead and straighten that out. And we're just going to do like four of them. Make sure we got all of this. I think I need to cut a little more. Here are these ones. Just like that. Okay, so for this technique, you're going to do an S, basically like an S. So you're going to go just like this. Kind of make it a long S. And this would actually be the beak, okay? You want the pointy side to be the beak of the swan. So we're going to do more of these. And this will go in the oven as well. That might be a little too much, but that looks pretty nice there for a head. So you're going you're gonna to have to determine what looks better. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of extras just to see which one looks the best. I've got four of them, but you always want to pick the best four. And then we'll go into the oven. These won't take as long. These literally take maybe 10 minutes in the oven. So we're going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. We'll show you what they look okay, like. After about 15, or after about 15, 20 minutes at 400 degrees, you want to lower the temperature. As you can see, they're very light. So you want to lower the temperature. So now, basically, you don't want to cook the outsides anymore, more or less. You don't want them to make them any more browner than they are. And you're going to lower the temperature to like 275 and let them go about another 15 minutes and they should be done. These have been in the oven for roughly 10 minutes and this is what they should look like. As you can see this would be kind of like the swan part of it and then we're going to put the the body that's in the oven. This will go right on top with some uh, with some whipped cream. That just gives you an idea of what it should look like. So this would be the side I would use for the head here. Uh, possibly this one would be definitely this one right here would be the head part. This right here on the bottom would be with the cream. And these only take about 10 minutes. Okay, so these are nice and light and airy. They've been pulled from the oven. So basically what you're going to do, and I've got my um, faux pastry cream here. And that has really nice consistency there. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your eclair. You're going to use a wooden spoon and you're going to place a hole in the center. Okay, and it should be hollow. Just like that. Okay, so once you've uh, put the holes in them, you're going to get your pastry bag and your cream, place it in, and then you're going to twist, and then basically what you're doing is, and I'm going to go ahead and set these aside, you're going to fill them up. Now when you do, you're going to have to give them a little hit just to get them filled in. So put it in, tap it a little, and you'll know when you start to fill it's going to get a little heavier. Just like that. Okay, for the chocolate ganache, you're going to get a quarter cup of cream and you're going to bring it up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, and again, it's probably best, you can actually do the cream here if you want to heat it up and put it in the microwave, you can, but eventually you're going to end up having to use your eclairs to put it in something larger. So you're better off doing it in a little pot. Make sure it's a small pot. If you don't have a small pot, then you might have to do it in one of these and then transfer it to a bowl. 
So the whole key here is just to make sure that it gets super hot to a boil. Just like that. Make sure it's rapid. Don't let it go too long. And once you get it to that rapid boil, you're going to add your chocolate chips. Turn it off and then stir it in. And once you stir it in, you have your chocolate ganache. It'll melt and just constantly stir until all the chips have melted completely. Basically all you're going to do is you're going to dip it into the pan just like that. Also keep in mind where if you look at these closely so it looks straight so I would want to hit the chocolate on this side so then it sits straight so you gotta keep that in mind this one's nice and straight dip it in the chocolate and you're going to do that with all of these and then you're going to refrigerate them okay and there's your eclairs after about five minutes the chocolate has cooled down and there's your okay, get a plate again if you want to use this for your portfolio place it on there and if you have some cream if you have extra cream just throw a little whipped cream on the top and there you go chocolatey clear <clears throat> for the cream puff swan uh, you'll have and we'll do a couple of these pull these out and as you can see this would be the beak so we'll select these four and where's our fourth one we'll use that one so the way you want to do this is you're going to cut it in half as you can see make sure you have a nice good serrated knife sharp knife okay and then you're going to cut this part you'll have the wings and again you got to be very careful so you'll have your wing and I'll show you again so cut it again more or less towards the center and then you have this cut that again sometimes they do break and make sure you pair them up make sure you know which is which so these go with these it'll be a little more even there you go and basically in a saw like motion try to go it down the center without trying to break it and the last one It's okay if the bottom breaks, it's not going to be a big deal because you'll see when we add the cream and then we'll do this one. We got that. Okay, the okay. next step is to make the cream puff swan. So if you see here in the center, I've got my two pieces. Now this is not completely even. We're going to get some whipped cream. You want to use a pastry tip and you're going to pipe it, you want to hold it and pipe it on like so, anyhow, any way you want to do it then you're going to place the head on it and you might have to adjust place the head make sure you know right wing, left wing like so And then if you need to fill it in again, a little more whipped cream, fill it in. And there you go, your cream puff swan.